Hey, Lisa G here, founder of YourTastyLife.com. Let's be honest, have you been shaming yourself over your food choices? We've all done it, and I'm sure you've experienced this. Well, stick around because I have some information for you to break the shaming food cycle and enjoy, yes, enjoy, your eating experience. To break the cycle of shaming yourself over your food choices, it all starts with this simple nugget of truth. Choose your thoughts wisely. What you think is what you get. And here's an example of that. Ever have a day where it just keeps going downhill? One thing negative happens and another thing keeps happening. It's just spiraling out of control. And when you're in those days, your mindset is just also playing into it. Well, I figures that would happen. Of course that would happen. What else is gonna happen? Versus when you have a really great day and everything is just going amazeballs. It's super perfect, it's bliss. Your mind is high, your energy is up, everything just keeps working for you. That's a classic example of what you think is what you get. I think Dr. Wayne Dyer says it best in a quote that I'm gonna read of his. Low energy attracts low energy. Low energy thoughts such as anger, hate, shame, guilt, and fear weaken you. And they attract more of the same. By changing your inner thoughts to higher frequencies of love, harmony, kindness, peace, and joy, you'll attract more of the same. And you'll have those higher energies to give away. The bottom line is we attract people, circumstances, and events into our lives. So when we live in the zone of shame over what we're eating, it doesn't make us feel good, does it? And if we're not feeling good, we're gonna do more of the same and we're gonna attract more of the same. So I am so over the guilt and shame that comes to food choices. Why don't we celebrate our choices no matter what they may be? If we're celebrating and we're enjoying more, we're gonna attract more of those like experiences. This week's Tell Me What To Do, TMWTD is actually a homework assignment. I would say a favor, but it's really a homework assignment. I need you to do this at each meal the coming week. I need you to do one thing. I need you not to shame or guilt yourself about your food choices, whatever they may be, and I want you to celebrate your food choices and celebrate you, knowing that you are enough, that you are worthy, that you are capable of achieving anything you want to achieve. Do that at each meal, no shaming, no guilt, but celebration of you and your choices at each and every meal. So once again, stop the shame and get busy embracing your tasty greatness. You, yes you my friend, I'm looking at you, you have no limits.